Good morning, guys. We have learned Euclid's division algorithm and lemma. It has several other applications as well. These are used to find the properties of numbers. Here we are giving some examples. First example is so that every positive even integer is of the form 2q and that every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1 where q is some integer. Now let us see how Euclid division algorithm is applied in it. Let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 2 be the divisor. Remember Euclid division algorithm? a is equal to bq plus r. In the same format we can write a is equal to 2q plus r where r is greater or equal to 0 but less than 2 cannot be equal to divisor. Now we have two cases. Case 1 when remainder equal to 0 put 0 here we will get a equal to 2q and we know that any number which is multiple of 2 is an even integer. So this is a multiple of 2 and so a will be an even integer. In the second case when remainder is equal to 1 when remainder equal to 1, place 1 here, you will get a is equal to 2q plus 1. Now, this is not a multiple of 2. And we know that any number which is not a multiple of 2 a is an odd integer. So, a is equal to 2q plus 1 will be an odd integer. So, we find here that any positive even integer is of the form 2q and that every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1. This is how Euclid division algorithm is applied to identify even and odd integers. Let's have another example. Example 2. So that any positive odd integer is of the form 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 where q is some integer. Again start in the same way. Let a be any positive integer and b equal to 4 be the divisor because we are taking the format 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 we are taking 4 as divisor. Now applying Euclid's division algorithm, a will be equal to 4 into q plus r, r ranging from 0 to 3, not 4, cannot be equal to divisor. So we have case 1, when r equal to 0, put 0 here, a will be equal to 4q. Now this 4q can be written as 2 into 2q and this can be written as 2m, 2 is an integer, q is also an integer. So 2q altogether will be an integer by closure property of integers. So a is in the form of 2m that is again multiple of 2 and so an even integer. Now take case 2 when r is equal to 1 a will be equal to 4q plus 1 placing 1 here in place of r we get 4q plus 1 again 4q can be as 2 into 2q plus 1. So this is 2m plus 1 again replacing 2q by m in the previous case. So it is again the form 2m plus 1 not a multiple of 2 and so a is an odd integer. Now case 3 when r is equal to 2 a will be equal to 4q plus 2 placing 2 in place of r. Now in both terms 2 is the common factor we can take 2 as common factor and the remaining part is 2q plus 1. Now, replacing 2q plus 1 by some integer m because 2 is integer, q is integer, 1 is also integer. So, by closure property, addition of integer is again an integer. So, we can take 2q plus 1 as an integer m. So, this is again an even integer, a multiple of 2. We are left with one more case, case number 4, where r is equal to 3. Let us take case 3, sorry, case 4. When r equal to 3, a will be equal to 4q plus 3, placing 3 over this place. Now, a will be written as 4q plus 2 plus 1, with, uh, expressing 3 as 2 plus 1. From the first two terms, we have 2 as common factor. And in the previous case, as in case 3, we can replace 2q plus 1 as m and this is again 2m plus 1 for me. 
since this is not a multiple of 2, it is an odd integer. It is not a multiple of 2, that means it is not divisible by 2 and hence A will be an odd integer. So what we find, we find in case 2 where remainder is 1 and in case 4 when remainder is 3, look at these two places. A is equal to 4Q plus 1, we get the format 2M plus 1, odd integer format. When A is equal to 4Q plus 3, we get the format 2M plus 1 and odd integer. Hence we conclude that every positive odd integer is of the form plus 1 and 4 q plus 3. Wait for some more examples in my next video. Thank you.